Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create a 3D pyramid chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these beautiful 3D pyramids for John by sales conversion. Here I have this small data table wherein I have John and the sales conversion. I have taken random number for sales conversion. You can see I have used simple rand between formula. Using this data, I have created this beautiful chart. You can see these are four different pyramids and each pyramid have some transparent area also. So if I will recalculate this formula, then the number will be changed. You can see on the chart. All right, so you can use this chart on your business dashboard or your business presentation it can make your dashboard more eye-catching so let's start i'm just going to copy this data and then i will go to the new worksheet so i'll click on this new sheet button plus button so new worksheet which is seat one has been added just paste this data here now here i have taken another column which is the transparent slice transparent slice is the this transparent area so here I have used the formula simple 1 minus means 100% minus V2 which is the sales conversion. The maximum sale conversion I am assuming can be 100% and this transparent slice will be 100% minus this value. If I will sum these two value it will come always 100%. Okay, Now we will create our chart using this small data set. So first of all, I would like to remove the grid lines from the worksheet. So just go to the view and uncheck this checkbox, which is the grid lines. Now I will select this table first, then I'll go to the insert and here I will go to the charts and then I'll go to the column chart and I will go to the 3D column chart. Under 3D column chart, I'll select this chart, which is 3D stacked column. Just click on this. Now here you can see this 3D stacked column chart is available. So first of all, I would like to remove grid lines and legend from this chart. And now I will right click on this chart, then go to the format data series. This format data series window will be opened. And in this format data series window, you can see this column shape is available. And here I will select the second one, which is the full pyramid. All right. So now you can see the four pyramids available in our chart. So for each pyramid, we have to fill the different color. You can see these are all different color. So we will fill these colors one by one. So first of all, for each zone, I'll click on this blue slice. Just double click on this so that only this slice will be selected. And now I'll go to the format data point window and here I'll click on fill and line go to the fill and then I'll click on gradient fill so this is some default gradient is available here now we will change it so here in the type we will take linear the first one and now in the gradient stop we will take only two stops so just remove the second stop from here just left and you can click on remove gradient stop or you can just remove using the mouse let me just click here so we have only two gradients here now i'll select the first one and here i'll go to the fill and i will choose this color which is the light blue and then the second gradient again i will choose the same color this is light blue but this time i will change this light blue color so i'll go to the color again i'll click on more colors and here you can see this black small triangle is available just pick the triangle using the mouse and move towards upside so our color will be slightly lighter and now new color is this and just click on ok all right now we will change the direction so just go to the direction and we will choose this direction which is linear right so you can see east john's pyramid will look like this now similarly we will select the best john pyramid just double click on blue slice and then go to the fill and line fill and we will choose gradient fill so this is the gradient we have just used but this time we will use some different color 
So here you can see I have used this purple color gradient. To use this purple color gradient, I'll go to the gradient stop. So I'll select the first one and then I will select this purple color. And for the second one, again I will select the purple color. But again I will click and go to the more color. I will make this purple color slightly lighter. So again I will pick this black triangle and move to the upside. So the new color is this. Now click on OK. So our second parameter will look like this. Just select the third one, go to the gradient fill and this time the first one we will choose as red color this one and for the second one we will choose this color which is orange accent 2. And now I'll choose the fourth one and again click on gradient fill and this time for the first stop we will select this green color this one for the second one i'll click on some lighter green this one all right so our chart will look like this now we will select the top section so just click here so all the top sections are selected for all parameters now i'll go to the solid fill and here i will fill this yellow color this one and the transparency i'll put here 80 percent now I will select this vertical axis and press delete so it will be removed. Select the chart, go to the format. Here I will go to the shape style and I will choose this shape style. So our chart will look like this. Now we will remove the space and make the slightly bigger parameters like this. So we will remove the space between the parameters. So right click on the parameter, go to the format data series. And here you can see two options are available gap depth and gap width. For both the option, we will make zero like this and just close this window. Now we can make our chart slightly bigger. Now we can add the data level here. So just select the bottom section, right click, add data level. So data levels are available here. Select the data level, go to the home and change the font name and choose this one which is Arial Rounded Empty Bold and make color as black and font take around a label. Chart title you can put according to your requirement. So here I will put let's say John by Sales Conversion. Alright friends, if you want to make chart corner rounded like this then you can simply select the chart, right click, go to the format chart area and here go to the borders choose automatic border and then scroll it down again and click on rounded corner now you can see your chart has rounded corners so friends that is how you can create this beautiful 3d pyramid chart if you like this video then please press the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues i hope you have enjoyed this video Thanks for watching.